So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to monitor the real time global nitrogen dioxide concentration using Sentinel 5P image. So let's get started. So the nitrogen dioxide gas is one of the one of the important gas which causes an, uh, health effects to humans and other organism on inhaling the excess amount of uh, nitrogen dioxide concentration. So the environmental and health effects on inhaling the nitrogen dioxide so the elevated levels of nitrogen dioxide can cause an damage to human respiratory tracts and increase in person to persons vulnerability and severity of respiratory infections and asthma. The long term exposure to high levels of nitrogen dioxide causes a chronic lung diseases. So it may also affect the senses uh, for example reusing the person's ability to smell in a smell and order. So high level of nitrogen dioxide are also harmful to vegetation, so decreasing the growth or reducing the crop yield. So the recommended air quality standards are 0.12 part per million for an hour exposure period and 0.03 part per million for, for annual exposure period. So now let us view our uh, nitrogen dioxide concentration in global level in earth engine. So to view our nitrogen dioxide concentration using earth engine so first we need to import our country boundary layer into earth engine so to import our country's boundary layer into earth engine define a variable called countries double e dot feature collection us dos united states of department of states large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017 so this code will specifically uh, will import our country's boundary layer into earth engine so next is to import our Sentinel 5P image, specifically L3 band, uh, L3 band of nitrogen dioxide concentration. So to import our Sentinel 5P image into Earth Engine, define a variable called collection equals to double e dot image collection Copernicus Sentinel 5P NRTI L3 NO2. NO2 represents the nitrogen dioxide. Now select uh, specifically nitrogen dioxide. Now select NO2 uh, specifically uh, we need to select dot select NO2 column number density and uh, with the temporal uh, filter that is we have for the specific time period from 2019 selecting a specific time period uh, July 6 July uh, 1 to July 6 so this is a specific time period from 2019 July 1 to uh, 2019 July 6 so we are specifically filtering our temporal filter from 2019 June 1 to 2019 June 6. So next is we set our visualization parameter for our layer. So to set our visualization parameter that is to define the color for that is to define the color for our nitrogen dioxide concentration in global scale. For that we have to set our visualization parameter. So define a visualization parameter define the variable called bandwidth refers to band visualization with a minimum uh, value of 0 and to a maximum value of 0 0.002 the color palettes we are using is black blue purple up to red so here the black represents the lowest concentration of nitrogen dioxide and the red represents the highest concentration of nitrogen dioxide and to finally to display and visualize our layer we need to define a map dot add layer collection dot mean so here we are specifically using mean function because our uh, temporal filter that is varying from 2019 uh, June 1 to 2019 June 6 so there is a variation in the timeline so in order to acquire a mean, a mean value a mean image or mean concentration of uh, nitrogen dioxide we define a collection dot mean and dot clip countries that is uh, referring to our country's boundary layer here and the collection similarly the collection here refers to our sentinel 5p image specifically that is nitrogen dioxide uh, l3 band and uh, dot uh, here the band visualization refers to our visualization parameter and output the layer as s5p no2 sentinel 5p nitrogen dioxide lay the na name uh, layers uh, name as S5P NO2 that is Sentinel 5P nitrogen dioxide and last uh, set the map, we have to center the word layer for that define a map dot cent center so we're giving a latin longitude for our layer with uh, for centering our layers 
and with a specific zoom level of 4. Now let us run this code. So now let us run our code. Go to the option called run script. Click run script. So now we can able to clearly uh, let us view our uh, nitrogen dioxide concentration on a global level. So now we can clearly able to view that. This is our global map of nitrogen dioxide concentration. So now let us view our nitrogen con dioxide concentration. Let us start with India. So now you can able to clearly view that the red color indicates, red and yellow indicates the highest level of highest concentration of nitrogen dioxide. And uh, let me show you that. So here you can view that the black and blue represents the lowest concentration of nitrogen dioxide and yellow and red represents the highest concentration of nitrogen dioxide. So in India, several parts has a very high level of nitrogen dioxide concentration, mostly due to the industries and um, vehicular emissions might be uh, one of the major reasons for causing uh, the concentrations of nitrogen dioxide. And similarly, uh, let us view uh, China. So here we have a very high level of uh, nitrogen dioxide concentrations being absorbed here. You can see the several uh, red and yellow indicates highest level of nitrogen uh, nitrogen dioxide concentration. And similarly, let us view here. So in Middle East, we have a uh, fewer uh, spots, fewer spots, or the fewer spots represents the highest level of nitrogen dioxide concentration. And in Africa, we have, uh, uh, yeah, here we have a very high level of nitrogen dioxide concentration. And in case of uh, South uh, South America, we have a, a very low level of nitrogen dioxide concentration, except this uh, area. And uh, we can also clearly view that in Australia, there is a very low level of nitrogen dioxide concentration. So at last, let us check the nitrogen dioxide concentration in United States. So we can uh, clearly able to view that only uh, this particular region has a very high level of nitrogen dioxide concentration. So this particular area, that is Chicago. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, access and visualize and uh, monitor the real-time global carbon nitrogen dioxide concentration using Sentinel 5P image and I've shown you how to import the country's boundary layer and how to import the Sentinel 5P image to uh, visualize our global nitrogen dioxide concentration and how to set a visualization parameter for our layer to define a, to a different color scheme representing a different level of concentration of nitrogen dioxide at last how to display and visualize our uh, nitrogen dioxide concentration so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like